Hi, I'm attorney Nicholas Vogelsang, and what I'd like to do now is explain how a mesothelioma case works. If you have a diagnosis of mesothelioma, or a family member does, the first step is to call our office and set up a meeting. We will then come to your house, meet at your kitchen table, and go over the asbestos exposure that may have occurred throughout the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, and sometimes even into the 1980s. If your family member who has mesothelioma is not feeling up to it, a lot of times we can still meet and then find out about other coworkers or family members that would have worked around your loved one and exposed them to asbestos. Another scenario that might occur is that we're dealing with the spouse of a worker, someone who would have washed the clothes of the husband in the family that was around asbestos over the years in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. That person is sufficiently exposed and that is also a lawsuit that we can pursue. One of the problems we often face or hear from clients is that they're concerned that they don't remember specifically how they were exposed. However, after doing this over many years, we know places of exposure that may not occur to you immediately or other products that you didn't realize had asbestos in it. So the most important thing is to sit down with us talk about it and use our knowledge and our experience in working in this field for many, many years to determine what the sources of exposure could be. Once we've had our initial client meeting, we then have a roadmap of where to go. And we start filing your lawsuit and pursuing the corporations that would have exposed you to asbestos. This process can take up to a year, sometimes more, but usually it doesn't involve much client interaction other than meetings that are here and there throughout the course of the matter. Otherwise, it's mostly lawyer work and not something that's to be worried about. The most important thing through this is that it's a positive experience. You're dealing with a lot medically, a lot of appointments, possibly shortness of breath, low energy. We understand all these things and we want to make sure that when you meet with us, when you talk to us from if it's just a phone call or an in-person meeting, that it's something that you look forward to and enjoy doing. One of the concerns we've had from clients is how do they afford a lawyer or a law firm to work with them? And In this situation, you don't need to afford a lawyer. It's a contingency basis where we don't get paid, there's no money up front unless we have a settlement, a verdict, or a claim that brings in money. Now during this time, money is important obviously, but the most important thing is your health and taking care of all those needs that come with it. And we have the experience necessary to know that that's the most important thing, that's the top focus, and it always will be.